Hello everyone, Timer over here, and welcome! Today we are going to be taking a look at a game called Shortest Trip to Earth. Now if you're not familiar with Shortest Trip to Earth, it is a sort of a roguelike spaceship simulator um, where you're basically dropped into, I guess the story is, you know, you get flung out into the randomness of space and you are lost and you need to get yourself back to Earth and you go through various random sectors and systems and so on and so forth. There's a lot of uh, components of exploration and combat and simulating sort of your, your ship that you're um, piling in as well as the crew but it is roguelike so you basically have a game and you end up dying you're done you're you're retiring you're done and you have to start all over yet again as you can see i've already started a game here sector one the closest star so i basically didn't get out of the sector in this game i played for 75 minutes but i believe this also includes the tutorial um, so the tutorial here can be played and I do highly recommend going through it because it'll show you how to play as well as once you've finished, you'll gain a few extra what they call fate or fate points uh, that you can then allocate to get more uh, better things and more stats. Well, not necessarily stats, but perks. That's the word I'm looking for. More perks. Uh, because I think by the base start, you have like 10 to spend and after your tutorial mission you gain five so you get a 15 bonus for your first playthrough but anyway um, this game is developed by interactive fate and the publisher is iceberg interactive and i must give out a, a thanks to the both the developer and publisher for providing us a key to take a look at the game here so we're going to just jump into the game that i've currently started um Again, it launches you right from the tutorial into an actual game. So I just went through and we're at the end of the sector, you know, the first sector that you can possibly get at in the beginning. So I believe there's 10 total sectors and your goal is to get basically through all of them um, without dying. So we'll see where how far we can get. Um, in this current playthrough. So as you can see, we've survived thus far five battles. I've destroyed seven ships. Now I believe that this is again counting our tutorial stuff because I don't think I destroyed seven ships. I could be wrong, uh, but I can't, re I can't really remember. So anyway, let's go and resume the game. So here we are. We are in the, oh boy, approaching ship. All right, I forgot about this. I thought we were still docked, but apparently I exited out of our star or our spaceport here. But anyway, so we were docked and I, I basically sell, sold a bunch of stuff that we had gotten there. And we're at the final area or in sort of the final solar system or system of this sector, which has the exit point. So there is a, at the end of each sort of like, you know, web of getting to the end, you know, each web of systems. Um, there's going to be an exit port or warp gate or where is it exit warp gate right there that is what we're lo going for and that will take you to the next sector so we've approached that last uh, last time I played I got to our um, our space station just before getting attacked so like I said we're going to start this off with a bang and take on the sort of the final um, fleet or the final enemy of this an opening sector and I believe the sectors are procedurally generated so this you know if you start at one you're gonna get a different sort of setup and, and planets and so on and so forth than I I do moving forward but let's see what we can get open comm channel oh the rat pirates so yeah I've been dealing with these rat pirates all the way through these uh, various different systems uh, this is nothing personal we just need to feed our families. Hmm. Okay then. So yeah, in each system, there's going to be a sort of a you know who owns the system in the sort of the, sorry in each sector. So in this sector, the rat pirates are the main head honchos, and we need to basically uh, either take them out or try to bribe them in some way or pay them off. And here we've gotten two options. We could take our friendly donation of 100 organics. Uh, which is up here. So we, you know, our resources are over here. We'll take a look at this once we get out of this situation. But you know what? Why not prepare for battle? You know, we've got nothing to lose. This is a, a game I intended to essentially lose anyway, but I made it to the end and, you know, let's see what we can do. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a lesson in battle. So we are paused right now. Um, this is the sort of the combat screen, uh, the ship screen here. As you can see, this is our ship. 
we have various different modules in our ship. Um, and as you can see, the ones that have sort of this little bubble over them, those are weapons. So we've got four various weapons and our quick selection menu allows us to sort of choose which weapons we want to to uh, fire on with. Um, or not really fire, but more like um, aim. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, in addition to that, we have a number of different modules that I'm not quite sure what all they do. Uh, the tutorial does go over some things, but not... Not everything, because some of this stuff I picked up along the way. Here's our warp drive, allows us to go from one system to another. Um, we've got our engines in general, which the engines allow you to travel within a system to various different places. We've got our energy reactors, which are needed for, you know, energy and power. We have the ECM turrets, um, which just increases, what, ship evasion. So this gives us a plus 7% something or other plus minus seven percent targeting it's good basically is good uh, allows us to evade a little bit better um, as well as some point defense systems around our ship so this is one of the this is actually the starting ship when I finished the tutorial I got access to another ship and further ships do unlock as you complete various different things um, which we don't see here because we're sort of in the middle of a game as is, but I have a feeling we're going to be losing at some point, so we can always take a look at the um, the end game or the beginning uh, setup at some point. But anyway, let's go here. So we're paused down here. We have our sort of our um, um, our menus that we can look at. We can exit the interior ship here. Uh, if we click that, we can look at the exterior of the ship as opposed to the interior. So as you can see, there are little crew blips on here and they do move around right now i have all my crew basically assigned to various places so over here under your assignments you have various um different jobs that you can just assign people to by either removing or adding and so on and so forth right now we have nobody else that is unassigned we have a total of four crew um and that's about it we have five drones which i haven't really messed with yet um, as well as one pet, which again, I don't really know if the pet does anything besides just wander around the ship uh, for sort of flavorish. But anyway, uh, the the command center right here will run most of the ship systems. But if you do add someone, so if you do assign a crew member to various different modules, you get those bonuses. So say, for example, we take a look at the industrial laser here. The time that the industrial laser fires is five seconds, but with a person working it, it is decreased by 5%. So every time you have someone assigned to a position, it's always better. You get a little bit benefit from that. So as you can see, we've got our four weapons. We've got various different modules and the sort of the yellowish, goldish um, circle around our ship is our shield. So that's it in a nutshell. We'll take a look at some of these other menus uh, once we're out of combat. But let's see what we've got in terms of hostile ships. I'm going to go ahead and hit our play button. Whoa, all right, there's our ship. So not much. I think in my last battle, we had I had like two ships I had to take out. So I was expecting a little bit more than than this, but I guess we'll be fine. So the way you actually fire is, again, you have your quick selection menu, and this, for whatever reason, ends up disappearing on you. Um, say, for example, oh, it's down here. You can always click this button right here, which opens the quick select screen. Alternatively, you can hit F5, and that will bring this up, and then you can move this around and, and so on and so forth. Um, I'm gonna keep it sort of right there for now. Uh, again, the tutorial goes over a lot of these buttons. Um, fairly well so just follow along with that when you uh, if you want to play it all right so we're going to look at some of these other stuff at some point but for right now we've got our sights on this rat ship as you can see we've got hit points and we've got shield points so they've got more shield points than us uh, but we've got more hull or hit points than them so up in the top left hand corner is our hit points and our shield points. And again, the shield generator is, where's that shield generator? Right here. So we've got just the base Aegis shield generator. It's old, it's not super great, um, but it does the job that we're looking to do. Uh, so we'll see, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to get their shield generator as loot. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and fire our target. So as you can see, I have my one laser. I believe this is my laser. So I have like three lasers and one missile platform. Yeah, I have my one laser here. 
targeting. So I can tell my ship where I want to shoot. And if you can see the sort of the checkered red area, that is that's designating the area with which you might hit. OK, um, so like if I aim over here, there's a chance I'm going to just completely miss the ship because they're, you know, part of that that um, red area is above the ship over there. So it's best to sort of aim, you know, generally in the center area. So you're always going to hit them, but, you know, towards specific modules that are going to be, you know, kind of useful. Um, now, one thing I don't know. So this is an explosive storage. I don't know if we blow this up, if it's going to damage the ship. I've not gotten there yet you know, far enough to know that. But what I typically have been doing in this run through is going after power sources to try to shut down um, modules across the ship uh, by taking out its power. It's been working okay for me um, doing that. Plus, you know, usually they're sort of in the interior anyway, and that's really where you kind of want to go for. But there's something to be said about aiming for their actual weapons. So if we zoom in here, They've got this energy reactor. They've got this energy reactor. This is uh, combat sensors. We got one rail cannon there. We've got a ray gun right there and some big honking fire cannon right there. So it looks like, well, uh, no, there's one more right here. Rocket Pro. So they got four platforms, four weapons. So I, you know, I'm kind of tempted to just fire right here because all three of these weapons are generally in this area. You know what? Let's do that. So all of our weapons should hit somewhere over here. We'll see how that how it goes once we start things up again. So I think that's it. We do have someone designated to be repair. So I have two of our crew set to repairs. Um, you need somebody, uh, at least one person set to repairing in order to repair your busted modules as they get damaged. And you'll see our resources start to go down, especially metal, once uh, we start taking damage. But for right now, we do have the shield. So let's go ahead and hit um, the spaceport to speed things up. Boom. All right. So things are coming in. Our point defenses are doing their jobs. Shields are holding. Ooh, we got deflection there. Ooh, they hit us in the bridge. Our shields are going down, but look, their ship has no more shields left, so all of our stuff is going to be hitting their hull points here. So I think we're going to be okay. If we look here, we've gotten their defense system, or their point defense system. The point defense system does not uh, attack ships. It only attacks incoming sort of projectiles and... Um, asteroids incoming missiles so it doesn't do anything against the lasers but that's fine so our shield is holding i do i believe have someone yes someone is assigned to the shield generator which does i believe um help its its um you know regeneration Sometimes it's hard to, to notice what that means. I think the, the time there is the regeneration time. So we are decreasing that by having, you know, one person there. It's decreasing by 5%. So let's keep things going. Ooh, we've got, we've got these incoming missiles here. I don't know. What, the, what is that? I don't know. Weird. Okay. Boom, boom. All right. Uh, we're not quite there yet. What is that? Is that a missile? Oh! Someone... Oh, shoot! Alright, well, we've got ourselves some um, invaders here. Uh, chippy, hand weapon skills. So, let's let's take you off there. Let's put you on that. I assume the security uh, assignments that someone's going to, you know, help with that. All right, that's gonna go down. So I'm gonna take our our shield assigned guy and add that to security. I'm hoping this guy gets blown up from the point defense. What is that, Chippy? Oh, Chippy's going after this guy. All right, it looked like their other border um, got taken out by the point defense system, so that's good. All right, and Chippy helped. It must be one of our drones. I assume. All right, so we have successfully destroyed that ship. Uh, salvage complete. Our utility bots have salvaged all resources left on the battlefield. So what do we got here? We got modules. Uh, we got some extra fuel, some metals. Some of this we're going to be overladen with, with space here. So we're going to have to like get rid of that. Exotics we can sell. And again, fate points come into play. 
So every time you like die and restart, you get some points back from so to use in your next game, essentially. So we got one fate point there, and exotics are good to actually sell. We didn't get very many explosives, but that's okay. Let's hit okay. We're gonna see what modules. Ugh. So that was kind of crappy. We only got one fuel tank module. We'll probably just dismantle that. Let's go ahead and store all. How'd we do in terms of damage? Uh, we barely took any damage there, so we're good. Yeah, we're, we're excellent. I'm gonna take you down. Um, and yeah, this is kind of awkward. So let's, I'm gonna move my assignment thing over here so that this doesn't happen. So it's nice that all these, most of those windows are movable. Well, I guess this one, cause by default it's over here and it gets hidden as we saw. Uh, let's go with, um, gadget you do that and we'll add a second repair for right now. Warp assignments, what does the warp assignment thing do? Recharge? Yeah, I guess just recharging there. Okay, so we're fine. Um, yes, so when we go over our storage capacity for various different um, resources, we either have to dump or craft a pack. So I'm just going to craft a pack of metals. That's going to take us, <clears throat> take some away from our sort of our inventory and put them in a box. Okay, which takes up less space. It just gets into our just our module storage container. Um, as opposed to sort of our FEO, which is like uh, sort of more storage, but more specific storage. Actually, where is that at? Down here, sorry. <clears throat> this one, the ESM, is what stores the metals, the synthetics, and the explosives. So we have a sort of a cap on that. Um, and by when we do, we can either dump it, if we don't have enough space in our actual storage module area, or we can convert to... Um, unpack which will just sort of like set it aside and and move it from this inventory to that inventory so or spill over inventory because if we are in excess of our cargo we can't move we're, we're basically stationary so alternatively for synthetics we can convert to fuel um, or do the same thing with craft packs so we got a good bit of fuel i'm not feeling the need to convert it right now so i'm just going to craft the pack here and that's going to be fine. We still have a little bit, but you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the excess now because it's only like 18 more into additional fuel because we got a lot of space for fuel. That's one thing we're good by with. All right, so that's that. So if you see here, um, I think when I came in, oh, there's some objects over here that we've not looked at. I don't see any more bad guys in this area. We could, in theory, just run and go through the exit warp gate here. Um, alternatively, I think I did visit this. So I think I'm gonna go over here. So if you notice, so this is the system view. Um, everywhere my cursor goes, you can see how much it's gonna cost me in fuel and food. So our people need food to survive to get to that point from where we currently are. So I'm gonna to go to this this area right here. This is, I believe, where the um, enemy rats came from that we just took out. Oh! Wait a minute. Interesting. Apparently I'm still in the station. Did they attack me in the station? <laughs> that seems awkward. I didn't know they did that. Because when I, when I actually got here, I knew that I was gonna get attacked when I left. But apparently everything's fine. All right. Well, in the station, we can sell some stuff. So I've already capped uh, what I can sell of metals. I've also capped some of what we can sell of synthetics here. Uh, we could buy some more explosives, get a couple more um, organics. Do we want to do that? There's, there is some benefit to having some stuff you know, in our hold. Because I could re -un or sort of unpack this stuff and then sell them. Well, not necessarily the metals, but the synthetics. But I think I want to keep those going. But this fuel tank, I'm going to just scrap it. We're going to get metals from that. Whoops. Um, I don't want to dump them. So right now we are full on metals. And if I actually would scrap this, it's just going to dump excess. What I want to do is... Um, I want to dump what I can right now. 
So let's just. D oh, that's right. I can't. Urgh. I can't. Shoot. I forgot. I forgot. I mean, I could craft a metal pack and then scrap it, but I think what we'll do is we'll just keep it there. Because I can't. What I would do is is dump more metals, uh, sell them, and then scrap it, and then sort of replenish what I currently have. But I can't do that just yet because I've already maxed out how much I can sell at this station. So this station also has some stuff to buy. I don't know if any of this is is good to have. I mean, possibly. But so far, I'm feeling okay with my ship. I don't know if I need to do anything more than that. So let's just exit. We'll bank everything that we can um, and then head down, I think, to this area. So we're investigating electromagnetic interference. A strong electromagnetic interference prevents us from scanning the planet's surface from orbit. We cannot see what's down there without entering the atmosphere. Uh, we want to explore. Ravage planet. It seems somebody has a trip mined and mass harvested this planet recently, leaving occasional bits of dead vegetation behind. A full scale operation here would be worth the wouldn't be worth the cost. So we've got a few organics and a few Xeno data, which I believe is the money um, in in the game here, which you can see over here. Credits not produced while moving. Xeno data is used as currency slash credits. So here's another planet. Uh, and we can keep going around. We've got some object over here that's not yet been looked at. So you know what? Let's let's head over here. We're using up some fuel, but we've got it, so should be okay. Dronos 5. The planet is inhabited by a highly militarized industrial era insectoid civilization covered in cities and industrial areas. We are still in scanning uh, when the locals send a warning to stay away from their property or else. Ask for trade, try to negotiate. Uh, disengage, but send stealth bots to scout the planet. Uh, disengage, this species has yet much to learn. Um, let's, let's disengage, but scout the planet with, with bots. Preemptive strike. Ooh, the local civilization is more advanced than we thought. They discovered and destroyed our scouting bots, uh, despite the stealth technology we used. Ouch. It's not a huge issue. Did that kill my bots, though? <laughs> the locals launch a planet-wide nuclear attack against our ship from their ground bases. Uh, leave this planet of fuel fools. These slow missiles won't catch us. Try to catch some of the primitive uh, missiles launched at us. Annihilate the missile bases from orbit. Um, force locals to disarm. Minus the resources. Plus resources. We're going to annihilate them. We commenced orbital bombardment of known leader locations, prompting the remaining warlord to capitulate. The rebuilding can start, but not. But much of the planet is now a nuclear wasteland. We confiscate the remaining nuclear stockpiles and worthy military technology. Excellent! And we just, like, got a ton of, of um, stuff here. So, fantastic. So, it worked out in the end for us. We are once again in excess, which is uh, so sad. Um, go ahead and craft a pack, since, you know, we have nothing else to do with it right now. And what do we get? Ooh, we got an ancient nuke. Old and poorly kept capital missiles that still delivers solid damage. Damages and overload ship modules, but has low accuracy. Okay. Store. Can I like... So this is... Can I get you... Yes. Go in there. Come here. These are our sort of our rocket launchers over here. Or missile launchers, I should say. I had two nukes to begin with, but then they sort of uh, used them, <laughs> and then that was it. So, yeah. Uh, all right, so we're good to go. I think that's all. I feel like we I went to this planet already. Oh, right, this unknown object. Let's check it out. Metal object that is a cargo container lost by some kind of advanced travelers. We detected a primitive explosive trap inside. We should be able to disable it remotely without problems. All right. Surprisingly, the trap still exploded, even though it looked completely disabled. The cargo itself was damaged beyond repair, but we scavenged what was left of it. 
Cool. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna dump the excess. Um, and we'll probably just leave. Because there's not much else we can do and we're sort of overladen already. So let's head to the warp gate. Uh, Rat Empire Gate Guard. This long range warp gate is property of the Rat Empire. Those who wish to pass must pay the gate tax. I warn you that those questioning the Imperial rules for everyone else will be executed. And I have a nuke. Pay the tax. Pay uh, 350 credits. Attempt to bribe. We don't have the exotics to do that. Uh, your rules inspire me to question them. Ready for battle. Leave for now. Let us... Yeah, we're gonna fight you. Sure. Why not? Oh boy, this looks like a bigger ship. Oh, this is quite the bigger ship, isn't it? <clears throat> we may have made a mistake. We'll be fine. All right, let's see. I want to... What is this? Rat point defense. I want to try to stay away from that. Now, it doesn't look like we can do much. Let's just fire all our guns on this thing. We do have this ancient nuke. Never deflects, ignore shields. We could fire it and see what happens. What's over here? That's the shield generator. More shield power. Or shield batteries, I should say. There's the command bridge. Whew, this is this is gonna be a, a rough fight here. Maybe we should have just pay the uh, the money because we're gonna sustain a good bit of damage here. Um, but the, the, the rat empire energy reactor. You know what? Let's let's fire our nukes over there. All right, let's see how we do. What could uh, what could possibly go wrong here? All right, you're going in. Da, 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 fire in! Don't die! Don't die! Boom! All right, we took that out. Do we have any more? Is that is that it? Yeah, see, hmm, we just got one. Boom, boom, all right, so those are all dead. What else did we get over here? Warp drive, organic container, armor. I mean, I'm fine with trying to take this thing out still. Nice, very nice. Can't tell what the, if this thing's been damaged at all. We're still trying to break through this thing's shields. We only have our missiles go through the shield, but I guess what we could do and probably should have been doing is trying to take out their shield generator with our missiles. See how that goes. Because if we take out the shield generator, then the shield comes down and things are a little bit better. For it. Meanwhile, I mean, we are burning it down as is. Oh my god, what is that? Um, can I attack you? Fire the lasers! We got boarding people! <laughs> oh, we're, we're, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Our little drone's going to like attack them here. Um, okay, where is my, where's my, oh right, resources over here. Let's get another repair person down. Let's put you on security. Uh, so we got two people on security. These darn rat people. Where are you going? This guy, you. Um, attack. I don't know why you left. Ah, the shield came back up. Oh, he's got one hit point left. Come on, knock him down. Very, we took very little damage there. Very little damage. Hey, salvage complete. Our utility bots have salvaged all resources left on the battlefield. Excellent. We got a ton of stuff here. Again, we're going to be laden with stuff here. Um, what do we got here? Organics uh, container. Hmm, actually, I think I'll take all of that. Yes, sir, Bob. Um, warp. This is a one-way gate. Yes, we're gonna warp. 
Mothership AI, it seems a lot has changed while you were in cryosleep, Captain. Uh, we've been cut off from the intergalactic news for five years. The rats used to be less desperate about making a profit. New ship unlocked, Rogue Rat. Okay, our AI has been uh, tapping into the Rat Empire information networks and gained access to one of their most common blue ships. Sounds great. All right, so summary of Sector 1, the closest star. Looks like we got ourselves an achievement. We've survived seven battles, destroyed nine ships. So this must have been from just this sector and not the tutorial. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we found uh, 50 modules. We got nine planets done. Excellent. Sector-related perks found. Oh, well. Finagle. Well, actually, I mean, I didn't go through all the sectors. I sort of beelined over here, but hey, a cutscene. Shoom. All right, we're in Sector 2. Oh, boy. Sector 2, the Great In-Between. This sector is unclaimed by major factions. However, intergalactic travel guides warn of pirates. A wild sector, they call it. Grab everything you can, and let's leave this place quickly. Uh, what can you tell me about the local pirates? Space pirates. Pirate ships are usually armed in low-quality weapons. With low-quality weapons. They don't care too much about this because they usually want to get entire ships for themselves by killing all the crew. Keep point defenses online to destroy approaching border shuttles before they reach our ship. Okay, so we're mainly going to be dealing with um, borders. So we might want to tweak our ship to have a little bit more point defense. This sector is unclaimed by major factions, however, in galactic travel. Yeah, 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 got it. All right, let's pause. We are excessed, so overladen. We need to get rid of some stuff here. But what I kind of want to do is get this organics container in our ship. Where is my organics container? Uh, fuel tank. Okay. Right, I don't think I actually have a dedicated fuel fuel um, fuel container. That would be nice. All right, we're just gonna then I guess convert this stuff. Should be fine. Just gonna get rid of that. Convert to fuel because we got a lot of fuel space. Um, oh, that's a lot right there. I would love some of that. Well, I think what we're going to do is craft a pack here, craft a pack there, and then just convert that to fuel. I think that's going to be fine, and then we're no longer laden, and we're just going to have to find a space station. I don't know, though, if we're going to have a space station to find. Okay, so if we take a look at the sector map here. So here, as you can see, we've got various different systems in this sector that we need to work our way to Lafton over here that has two trade signals as well as the exit. So this is how we have to leave this sector to get to the next one. Um, and in order to get there, we need to sort of path our way out. Um, I don't think I'm going to hit all. Of, I'm definitely not going to hit all of them. I'm just going to sort of like beeline to it based on our sensor information. So right now we are looking here. There's one planet that we need to visit in murder. And then I Iota has two. And it looks like there's a trade signal over in Garomia with one fleet. And that that might be, I believe, um, a bad person, like a, a pirate. But it may also be something good, like a trader, I think. Murder 6. This planet is particularly lifeless and covered, uh, mostly covered with frozen carbon dioxide. However, somebody is transmitting a strong encrypted radio signal from the planet. Um, sure, I'm sure this is going to be okay. Dark Market. We find this signal source. It is a private marketplace for traders who do not want to make too much public attention. These traders must know some smugglers who in turn know pirates, who sometimes know slavers. This place might have some bad people both among clients and sellers. Uh, yeah, let's explore the Dark Market. Why, why, why not? Uh, to your relief, the place does not have any visible connections to sentient slavery. A local grippy trader has a particularly attractive offer, a food synthesizer. Uh, if you give me some explosives, you'll be basically supporting creation through destruction, the alien explains. 
Uh, buy the module. I, I don't know food synthesizer. I assume it creates food? For a few explosives? Um, I'm tempted to do that just to see what it does. All right, we're going to leave now for right now. And then we're probably going to go down to this asteroid field. But boy, we've gone on long enough. All right, we are going to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So let's uh, let's do that. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. Uh, if you do, hit that like button, especially for the first episode of a series, if you want to see more of it. Um, and next time, we're going to work our way to Lafton. So thanks, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.